Hey ladies, I'm back with you today just to share an update with you. Um, so I've been working on my um, some a tag and the paper shoe swap and everything and um, this is the flower that I made initially for the shoe but I don't think I'm going to use it because it's kind of big. Um, but I may use it on here and you're probably wondering what this is. I made a shoe box to hold my paper shoes in for the girls. Um, I may do it and I may not do it, but I think it would be so cute to make it and put it in the box with the other girl stuff, but this is an idea. Um, not sure if I'm going to roll with it or not, but I thought it was cute. Um, but I was thinking of, you know, adding, you know, the flower on top and then another flower and then t or some bling um, or make another flower and then um, put a little tag here or do something like you know how shoe boxes have the description or a little photo of the shoe on the on the box um, but it's an idea so I use the same paper that I did on the shoe and then except for this yellow. Um, I thought the yellow was great because of the, some of the orange yellow colors on the front. So, um, it's a pretty big box for the shoe. It's, see here's the shoe. Um, and it's got space and I'm gonna put a little tape down here on the bottom of it so that I can put it on here and you can like display it however you like. Um, to display your shoes, um, but that's how I have it so far. Um, here's my shoe girls. I hope you like it. Um, I made this little flower out of some lace um, that I have in my store in one of the sets. Um, and then I added a recollections fro uh These are both recollection flowers, and I just inked it up with my black uh, Martha Stewart ink um, and it's coal is the color and then I used a pretty stick pin that I got in a swap from Miss Fiona all the stick pins are different and all these little they're brad flowers I didn't know they were brads until I pulled them out so but that's the flower and I chalked it up and then I added the stickles um, the diamond stickles in the end um, and then I added some black rick rack. And um I it's not as, you know, open as I would like it to, but it's I like it the way it is. I mean, I it could, you know, open more. It's just it's hard to figure out how to get it that open with the template that was given to us. Um I can always alter it like I said. Um but I like the way these sh the shoes came out. I finished them all for now. Um, and I used a hot glue gun to adhere this piece to the bottom and then this piece to the bottom. And then I added the hot glue for the soles. And then I just smoothed it down with my, um, my green Martha Stewart bone folder. So I put, like, I did little hot glue here like this and then I just smoothed it down, you know, on the surface. I just went like this and smoothed it out. And then, um, for the bottom piece, um, I didn't cut out, well, I, I did cut it out, but I did extra, because the template, it's, it doesn't cover the whole shoe if you cut them out the same size, so I just cut, you know, I traced it, and then I cut around, made it bigger, um, and then trimmed it at the end, so this one looks better than the other two I, that I the other ones I completed before. Um, so that's in there. And then here's a little tag. I used the template for the shoe. And I put a tab punch that I made, that I got off pink cardstock to match the flower. And I used the stamp um, from Michael's. It takes some time, but I, ju I didn't stamp the, the words, just the the watch itself. And then I did a handcrafted by um, 
It's a Anita stamp that I got, that I bought from um, Amy um, at Love My Ella. Then I put, you know, my name, the date, uh, the month and year, the paper shoe swap, and then my YouTube name. And then for the girls, I'm going to write, you know, either a little note here or something. Um, when I adhered it, I adhered this side all together with my ATG gun, and then I did a triangle so that I could slip this in like a tag. Um, I may de decorate the front and back, and then this slips right into the shoe. I made it, I made it small enough to actually um, slide all the way through, like that, um, but I like it this way. It's folded, and um, I'm going to stick it in there for all the girls to have my info, or I may change that and then just put a shoe template right here on the bottom, or on the bottom of the box. Um, so that's one idea that I came up with. Um, so there's my shoe and my shoe box. Um, I'm just, it just depends on what the girls send their box, uh, shoe box, uh, their shoes in, what kind of box, if, if it'll work. Um, it may fit and it may not fit. Um, we'll have to see. Um, so there's that. And then I, uh, this is for Jewel Love It. Um, it's what I came up with so far. Um, for the, you know, for her giveaway. Um, she asked us to create a tag, um, for her. And her first video said she liked, you know, she always likes Paris. I mean, every video I've seen, she's like Paris. So, but she changed it to another video, so you can do whatever you want. But I did this using my, um dress, my sexy dress um, template, um, and then I used some images right here, I can't remember what site it's from, um, but I can look it up, it might take me a while, so if, if you want to know, just let me know, um, and I'll, f I'll try to find that for you, um, and then I used my chipboard, um, Paris chipboard, and then I distress it with vintage photo brush corduroy weathered wood and tea dye. Um, you can't see it anymore because I used the gold distress sickles. Then I added some recollections bling here and the other part here. Here's another Brad. Um, the hanger, um, Cynthia Luhu has a great tutorial on how to make those. And I tried it once and it's thin wire. And then I added some diamond or rock candy stickles right there and then uh, a brad then I added you know the bling here and there on the tag and then I just wrote up um, shop till you drop fashionista with my micron pen um, and it's really good it's a micron 08 can't see that um, I used some Rick Rack for the waist. The paper is actual a Paris themed paper. Um, I used this paper for my um, postcards from Paris swap with Arlene. So there's a big Eiffel Tower in the background. Um, then I used some my dress form stamps, and then um, I distressed these with um, the words with tea dye. I added the sickles as here, and then on the O's parts. I, I added the stickles. I still, yeah, I still missed one. I need to do that one. Um, and then I used the key from Kang Company. And then I added the, the little bling on it. And then this is a rose that Jules made me for our swap. Whoa, I thought that was going to fall. Um, for our swap and then this is a lollipop flower I made a small one with my little scraps and then I added some beads and I burned the edges of it um, I used the stickles here on the belt on her flower on the shoe on the corset and then I added some old vintage uh, really old um, I don't know if it's vintage or not but it's really really old um, the measuring tape and then some bling um, and then on the other side I 
added another uh, dress form. And then I distressed these flowers that I bought from Favor Pro on eBay. Then here's some of that lace that I made the shoes with. It's the same lace. Um, it's a cream color. And then I added, making it look like a dress, sort of, um, and layered it, but I didn't, you know, do the center because I have a tag. And then the lace here, some more bling, a crocheted circle um, I got in a thrift sh shop haul, a vintage button, be um, button, and then some fe uh, guinea feathers, and then a regular feather. And then um, this is the tag I made. Um, with my information, it's got tons of fibers on it. It's got two sets of each color that's on here. And then, um, these are those Michael stamps, um, with the words on it. Like, here's the one, the bird cage. It says fly. I just didn't put the words. Then the chair, rest a minute. I didn't put the words either. Um, and then I just distressed it and played with it and wiped it with my, um, my wipey with the ink that I used and then um I put I hope you enjoy your gorgeous tag hee <laughs> hee I love it um then handcrafted by and then my name my blog and my YouTube um so I may or may not change it um but this is what I've got so far um I hope you like it Jewel or Chelsea um, again, she's at Jewel Love It, so check her out. She's got, you know, her giveaways going on right now. Um, all you have to do is create a tag for her. You can create one tag, two tag, as many tags as you want for her. Um, and then I use the red card stock in the background. But, yeah, so this is what I made. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching my videos, ladies and gents, and have a good day today. Bye!